In this video I am talking about a budget prime lens, 7 Artisans 55mm f1.4. I was always curious how these budget prime lenses perform and what they deliver considering that they can be 10 times, 10 times or more cheaper than the equivalent big brother or sister. I have reached out to 7 Artisans and they have been very kind to supply me with this 55mm f1.4 lens for this review and to satisfy my curiosity. 7 Artisans or nobody else asked me or paid me to say anything specific, so this is my honest opinion about it. In this video I'll talk about this lens's photography and video performance, build quality, value for money and who this lens is good for. First I need to mention that this lens is for APS-C size sensor cameras, so effectively it delivers 82.5 focal length. I have a Sony E-mount here, but 7 Artisans produce it also for Canon EF M mount, Fuji X and Micro Four Thirds mounts. It can also be used on a full frame camera, but in APS-C mode and the images will be still cropped by the camera. Don't need to switch APS-C mode, but you're gonna get black vignetting around the frame, which you will have to crop in post later. Let's start from the performance. Although it is capable of delivering sharp results, good enough for printing when you close the aperture down. But you don't buy this kind of lens f1.4 to use at f16 small aperture. Yes, this lens is not pin sharp when wide open, but it adds more fun and certainly a little challenge to get better images, but it adds also character associated more with old and vintage lenses in a nice and brand new shiny package. So, if you are intending to use it for taking photos for Instagram and Facebook, then the sharpness is not what you should be focusing on here. Vignetting when aperture is wide open, chromatic aberration, flaring, lack of contrast when shooting towards the light or shooting bright scenes is all there. But all that is expected from the lens at this price range and it certainly doesn't take away the pleasure of using it especially that it still does deliver great results. Well, in my opinion, it does deliver great results. Video performance, there is obviously no built-in stabilization and the camera cannot read data from this lens, so it's not stabilized by the camera's built-in stabilization either. The aperture ring is declicked for smooth and silent aperture changes when filming. I actually prefer this lens and the video it produces more than some of more expensive primes as it adds that cinematic feel and character to the shots. It is far from perfect, but imperfections make the footage look more unique and in some cases actually more interesting. You wouldn't use it on a video shoot to film a high-end TV commercial, but it certainly would be a great choice for creative and artistic filming like music videos, cinematic shorts or even everyday b-roll. Build quality, solid, all metal construction, very firm and smooth focus and aperture controls. The rings are the opposite way round than on most of the lenses, so aperture is the aperture ring is on top of the lens and the focus ring is at the bottom. It takes a while to get used to it, but it's not a huge problem, unless unless you use a camera cage or follow focus system. The lens is so small that the aperture ring ends up too close to the cage and the camera body, and it might be a little harder to use. As I have mentioned before, the aperture is declicked, so you can do silent and smooth aperture changes when filming. The lens extends a little bit when focusing, which could be an issue if you are intending to use this lens on a gimbal, as the weight will shift forward a little when adjusting the focus. There are printed focal length and depth of field scales on the lens, and it weighs only 272 grams, 
and it takes 49mm thread size filters. This lens costs £89 here in the UK and around $100 in the US. So if you are thinking about buying it, there's a couple of affiliate links underneath this video. Smart packaging, well built and fun to use for a fraction of the cost of any other f1.4 wide aperture lens out there. Who is this lens for? This lens is a perfect lens for anyone just starting up with photography and video and who wants that fast wide aperture prime but is on a tight budget. It doesn't cost a lot of money. It is perfect for anyone who is a slave to autofocus and automatic settings and who wants to push themselves to learn more about photography and challenge themselves to capture more rewarding images fully manually. It is also great for anyone creative who wants something different and not run of the mill clinically perfect. Photography and filmmaking should be a creative process and this lens can add that something little extra to your creative flow for sure. I do personally like it and I certainly will be using it more as I carry around easy to use light and portable solution where I fancy to capture a different look and feel than my other lenses do. There is nothing more satisfying than to nail it 100% with a lens like this one and say yeah, you don't need to spend a fortune to be a better photographer, just saying. And this is it from me, but before I go, tell me, please in comments below, would you like to buy a t-shirt like this? Tell me, if you do, I'll make it happen and these t-shirts will be available to buy very, very soon. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you enjoy this kind of content, cameras, lenses, photography, video reviews, tutorials, then please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and See you next time. He makes a sound. Yes, I talk so much. I'm actually, I actually tired myself by talking. B-roll, brawling, brawling. I've been brawling all day today. What did I say that for? Oh my God.